Hey guys, what's going on? It's Firelight 457, and it's time for system test number 36 of the Ponder PFC 4064 system. So anyways, let's get started. Now this will be the last system test that's going to have the pre-integrity up because starting on the next system test, we'll be back to doing requests. So down here for the first conventional pull station, down, down here, zone 1, still got the Edwards 278B1120. And right here, got I swapped out the 270 SPO and I put my Gamewell MS7. Coming over here beside the door, this is where I moved the 270 SPO. Which we'll be, we'll be activating first today. As you saw for NAC1, I still got the Edwards Pre-Integrity. And then for NAC2... I swapped out the regular integrity and I put this up. This is my Edwards 892B horn behind my Simplex 2903-9101 strobe plate. The strobe is connected to the strobe circuit so this will be doing audible silence along with this. Over here I got the CO1224TR which I will not be testing today. Connected to the CR system, got the Edwards 278A RAL, which again will not be testing today. Over here, got the system sensor 5602, which I will be testing today. And we will also be testing the 2151 with a magnet. We will not be testing the i3 today. And I, I will be, and I have this 2098906 test switch, which I will be testing today. Right here, I got the Potter RA6500, which I will be using today, hopefully. All right, well, that's enough overview of the system. Now, it's going to go ahead and start the activation. And now, again, before I start the activation, please do not pull fire alarms in real buildings or tamper with any life safety equipment out in public. I will not be responsible for your actions if you choose to do so. And please do not watch if you have epilepsy to flashing strobes or lights. As mentioned, never pull fire alarms in real buildings unless it's a real emergency. Alright, so to start off today, we're going to pull the Edwards 270SPO and the uh, I have the system on continuous so that we can get a sound battle between those two similar pre-integrity sounding horns and yeah anyways here we go in five four three two one We got audible silence. You see here, you can hear the capacitor going in the 2903 stroke plate. I'm gonna grab my keys and we're gonna re-alarm with the 278B. Here we go.
All right, so. Before I reset the system, I've got to go ahead and reset the pool stations. Alright, now both pull stations are reset, we're just going to go ahead and reset the system. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and re-alarm with the Gamewell MS7. Here we go, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And before I activate the detectors, I'm going to go ahead and change the coding options. Alright, and again, before I activate the detectors and the key switch, I'm going to go ahead and change the coding option. So, I'm going to do that, and then I'll get right back to you. All right, I changed um, zone three. It's going to be doing code three, and I have zone four, which is a heat detector. It's going to be doing march time. Let's do the key switch first. All right. So we're just going to put the, key, the little put this little key into the key switch here. We are going to turn it to test. If I can get in in there. And by the way, the alarm indicator is hooked up to NAC3 on the panel. So that way I wouldn't have to keep changing, keep um, putting the, connecting the indicator to the devices and overcrowding the wires. And that makes it much easier. So just go ahead and activate the key switch in five, four, three, two, one. The system's going to be doing march time. That actually sounds better on March time than it does on continuous. So. Alright. Next up, I'm just going to go ahead and activate the heat detector with the hair dryer. So, here we go. Everything's good, so we're just going to go ahead and reset the system. Alright, the system's now reset, and to end the video off, we're going to go ahead and um, end the video with code 3, and we're going to activate the system sensor 2151. So, 
here we go in five four three two one nothing else to do there now so we're just gonna go ahead and reset the system all right well this is gonna do it for system test number 36 of the Potter PFC 4064 system everybody also known as my main system if you'd like to request a system test on the main system or my on my addressable system just comment down below the description on what to do is gonna be in this video and it's also gonna be in my collection video and cool Sima, cool Sima Sky, I have you up next for the next request on the 4064 system. So stay tuned for that. And be sure to check out my other fire alarm videos. And I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.